Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically solvate a molecule using ChemCraft and using a set of octave routines that I made that are going to be available in GitHub. In principle, this program can be modified to use any kind of solvent and even solvent mixtures. It is uh, still a work in progress, but I'm going to show briefly how it works. So we are here in Octave. I'm going to increase the font size a little bit so that this can be better read. And this is part of the routines. I'm not going to describe everything, how it works. Essentially, we have a, an input file that contains the size of the box in Angstrom, the approximate number of solvent molecules that we want to put in there, and where we can define coordinates for the different molecules that we want to use as solvents. These uh, molecules are defined using uh, some of the coordinate formats that are used by ChemCraft, where first the first number is the atomic number and then the three other numbers are the coordinates and this can be copied directly from ChemCraft. So for example here I am defining H2O, water and acetonitrile and I define the coordinates in an arbitrary uh, coordinate frame and then what I can do is define a ratio of the two molecules. For example I'm going to use an approximately 60% of water and approximately 40% of acetonitrile. And then I define my solute, which is another molecule that I have brought from previous calculations. It is a metallocorol. Here is the atomic number. 27 is for cobalt, 7 is for nitrogen, etc. And here are the coordinates. So my solute ends here. And I'm just basically defining the structure of my solute and the structure of the solvent molecules that I'm going to use. I could add more solvent molecules. So here I have only two of them. And then from the solvate molecule program, I just call this solvation input file that contain my information. And this will generate some matrices that are going to be used by this program in order to generate the solvation box. So we have to wait a little bit. It's not super fast, but it takes maybe 10 to 30 seconds, depending on the number of molecules. So I'm generating a file that is here saved as a solvated molecule dot xyz. If I want to visualize this molecule, for now I will do it from ChemCraft. So here it is the molecule that I already shown that contains my corolla. I can select the whole molecule and I can plot it with a different style. Here it is easier to see the difference between the solute and the solvent molecule. So I can make a bigger box, I can change the ratios of the two solvents. I, if I go back to Octave, I can go here to the solvation input file and maybe I can change the size of the box to 30 and I can change the number of uh, solvation molecules to 700 and I can change the ratio to uh, 0 0.2 water, 0 0.8 acetonitrile. I have to save this file and then I run the solvate molecule file again. This is going to take a little bit more time, maybe around one minute. Okay, so this is done. This maybe took around one minute, one minute and a half. The program is not very fast, but it's something that you don't need to continuously be doing. It's something you do at the start of your input file. If I go back to ChemCraft, I will load this file and here we can see that we have a much bigger box, many more molecules, and uh, most of them, 80% are more or less, are acetonitriles. The algorithm is still very preliminary, so if I make a bigger box but I don't increase the number of molecules, these molecules are going to be further apart from each other. I will, in the future, improve the algorithm so that the maximum number of molecules that fit inside the box are produced each time, and you only need to specify the size of the box, but you can do some trial and error a couple of times and you will see what kind of number of molecules and box sizes you need in order to get a correct density of your solvent. How can I change this? Because the idea is that this can be used for any kind of solvent. Even the solvent could be molecules which are not normally considered solvents. So for example, if I want to create a new molecule, so I can go here to fragment 
I go to molecule, simple compounds, and I can choose acetone. So I click here, and I will have an acetone molecule that I can uh, use as a template for my solvation input program. So if I move the molecule to the center, more or less, I can see here the coordinates. So these are the coordinates for the molecule. I could choose a molecule that is centered. So I go again to image, I select the central carbon atom, and I go to edit, translate atomic coordinates, and move coordinate center to selected atom. So now my molecule is more or less centered and the coordinate numbers are closer to zero, which is what I would uh, want to have a simplified set of coordinates. I can also align maybe the set axis with the carbon oxygen distance and I select here in translate atomic coordinates, align two selected atoms along the set axis. So here now, I have a simplified set of coordinates and I will copy this into Octave and I go to the Solvation Input Program and I can define a new molecule. I will call it Acetone. And I have to open and close brackets and inside that I just copy my set of coordinates with atomic numbers. So I will do some tab in order to align this correctly and I put a semicolon at the end to suppress the output. So now I want to make a acetone water solvation mixture. What I need to do is I will copy these lines below and I will comment them out with Ctrl R and I will change the second uh, component to acetone. I have to be careful with the writing it exactly the same because if not, there's going to be an error and I can maybe change the ratio of the two molecules. I, can, I will make a slightly smaller box because in this way, it will not take so much time. And I will, in here, solvate molecule, I will change the name so I don't overwrite my previous file. So this will be called solvated molecule B. So if I run this, it should hopefully not give any error. The program is still a little bit buggy. There are some things that have to be manually fixed for certain inputs, but it's a work in progress. This should take less than a minute. So this finished again, I should have another file, which is present here, you can see it, and I can load this in Chemcraft. So here you can clearly see that now I have both water and acetone at the uh, 30 to 70% approximate ratio. The ratio will not exactly match the desired ratios all the time because there's a random factor in the way that molecules are included. This may be improved in future versions. So I will upload all these files to my GitHub and I will provide the link in the description. If you like this video and my other videos and find them useful, please like and subscribe and leave comments. This will help the algorithm. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.